Good afternoon, once again. Uh, before I jump into that, oh, now I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let me start over. Hi, good afternoon. This is episode number 549. <laughs> and the topic today is, it's lonely at the top. The challenge of being a woman boss. I think that's what I said. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself and explain why I'm doing this and what this is about, and then get it get to the point. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day now, for the last couple of years, um, with initially with a little more spread out, but now daily, for the last, for basically almost two years, I've done these daily talks on Facebook Live first, then to YouTube, and I'll tell you about that later on, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. So today, we're at episode number 549. So, getting up there. And the topic today is, it's lonely at the top, um, being a woman in charge. Um, and I want to speak to this because I've been, <laughs> I can say this, I've been circling around this for a while now, I'm talking about different aspects, and I will probably drop in some of the reminders in this talk from things I've said before. But I want to take this, this one head on because it really, thank, thanks to a friend's input today, really hit me, the sort of women I've been working with and talking to, and what, I'm going to say this another way, I see now clearly the women that have been suffering that I think I can help, not, no, excuse me, another word, another word, I know I can help and hold for. Knowing the work I've done for the last 25, 30 years of study myself, there's so many keys and tools I've now learnt and embodied and taught that I'm clear that I need to help some more people besides the ones I work with. So. That's a that's a preamble and also a, a nudge towards my marketing, but I'll, be, I'll hold off on that for a second. I will put a link at the end about how you can reach me and talk about this more with you. So let me start it this way. From the beginning of this piece, again, the topic is, it's lonely at the top, uh, being a woman in charge. And what really hit me so clearly is in business in particular, which is where I realized this is much more evident than I've noticed before, because I've been working with a lot of women who are entrepreneurs or artists and that sort of thing. But in the corporate structure, there are women in leadership, not necessarily the bosses of the whole company, but an authority who can feel very isolated and alone and disconnected. And what I'm aware of is that for many women, this is a challenging place. In fact, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier this morning and she was saying, like, she knows some of her friends who have actually felt suicidal about this, which, is, which for me was like, okay, I've got to talk about this because there's, I don't want to say it this way, I was going to say that there's no reason for that, but I understand there's a reason. But to do that, to take yourself out rather than growing through this pain is a choice I would not recommend. I'd recommend a better choice. So I want to speak to this ideally for those of you who are listening, and particularly if there's anyone out there who has felt that path in their uh, personal life because work is going great, but they don't feel it. And they feel disconnected from their power and their truth because they've had to do things that don't fit them. And so this is a, this is, this is a answer to your cry for help in a way. It's also a nudge and a reminder that someone is out there to support you, me. <laughs> so let me put some things on the table for you. Working in the corporate world, working in the business structure, working in the business world the way it's been built for the last 50, 100 years, the commercial world primarily, it's a very male energy driven world. No surprise. You, I think you already know that. So women who have succeeded in that business world, women who have become um, leaders in the business world, have largely had to do it, not everybody, but largely had to do it in the way that men have done it. Competitively, competitively, one up, one down, uh, somebody wins, somebody loses, um, duality, split up and, and not making things work. A few have actually done it another way, which is more inclusive and collaborative, but that's rare. And I'm behind having that happen more often, but that's the second step. The first step is for you ladies who've actually done the path of solo pushing through, making it happen, driving, breaking down that wall, getting as high as you can, even though there may still be a glass ceiling above that, and that's another topic entirely. Although it might come to this, we'll see is to see that there's a place where you can be, where you can actually be successful as you were doing that, but actually enjoy that feeling and reconnect back to your heart so you feel, well, not only fulfilled, but open to 
connection. And I mean this in different this in this way, not about romantic leads necessarily, because romance is is something I've talked about a lot in my past broadcast. But I'm starting to feel a not a shift, but an additional piece coming through, which is this. Many women who have been in the business world are feeling empty, feeling hollow, feeling like a void. I think you get the message what that means. Because they're not feeling filled up from inside. They've been so busy driving and pushing and making things happen, they've done what the men do. Because most of the men don't feel fulfilled either. But for you ladies, tapping into your resources is where, unfortunately, you've been either forgetful of or been told by those in business, oh, forget about that. Act like the men, compete with the men, step up, you know, you know, broad shoulders, that sort of thing. And this is a discord that happens to so many people. And for me, it's sad, it's frustrating to watch and sad to watch. But I think I could do something about it. Because the work I've been doing a lot with the with masculine and feminine energies, and I've said this before, ladies, when you're in your feminine, you're way more powerful than you're on your masculine. But it's more than just that piece. It's the connection to a deeper place inside that is heart-centered. And so I say heart-centered, and it sounds so wishy what you say heart-centered in relation to corporate work. But the reality is, when you remember your heart is when things can change. Because most women have been trained to act like men, which is from here up. That's why you feel empty and feel hollow, is because you're feeling a disconnection from who you are. I said in my instruction, which I've said for the last 100 plus broadcasts, that help women, help strong, successful business women find balance in love, life, and business. The key word is balance. <laughs> most women in business don't have that. They may have one or the other, or maybe they have bits and pieces, but they don't have a strong sense of balance and success in all three areas, life, love, and business. Because business is where things get so um, myopic that the focus for women has been to um, go for the gold ring, to strive to succeed, and to be able to stand amongst men as an equal, which is very, um, what's the word looking for? <laughs> That's the word. The word went in my head. Go back to me. The the the, cha the the getting there is admirable. That's the word. Yeah, admirable. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. At the same time, it can feel hollow. In fact, there are women I know who have achieved great success in business, but they don't feel it. And that's the thing: is ladies, when you are succeeding in business, if you don't take the time to smell the roses, to enjoy the feeling of success, it can feel empty and void and incomplete. And a lot of men feel that way too. So this call is really to the women, but truly for men as well. There's a lot of recognition that when they achieve their goals, it's like, well, that was easy, now what? Or that was tough, now what? Or I'm exhausted, now what? And for many, to take time out to self-support, self-nurture, and even, yes, self-love, is not even on the radar. So this is a hint <laughs> this is a reminder this is a nudge to say to you if you're one of these women who has rocked in the business world but feels void or empty is you don't have to feel that way and choosing out either out of the business or out of the life out of life is not what I'm talking about here if you're someone who's stuck in this I want you to reach out to me because I have some I have some clear understanding now what I need to be helping you with because so many women unfortunately have missed some of the pieces of the puzzle that will help you succeed, thrive, and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm sitting with what I want to share as, as a solution because I'm I'm giving some of the how some of the um, the pain points, but also some of the recommendations without giving actual solutions. So, all right. I said this so many times, but I really want to say it this way. Um, if you watch my broadcast before, I talked about this self-love practice I created, this self-love guided meditation. In this, I'm just say a couple of things about it. The self-love guided meditation that I offer, it's is a guided meditation, as in there's two audio tracks, one for AM, one for PM. The AM, the AM meditation is a self-love practice that also sets up your day, whether it's meetings, business, whatever it is, to be more aligned to where you want to go. So it's affirming your day for you. The PM meditation is a receptive completion gratitude practice. So the reason I'm telling you this is because people say it was just self-love, like whatever. It's like, well, that's not whatever because self-love is much more valuable. But I'm also saying 
it's an intention and a gratitude package as well under the same um, label as a self-love guided meditation practice. I'll put the link for that in the comments as well because the thing is if you take that on as a first step, just a first step, it's a way of getting yourself started on the journey to find balance in love, life and business as I've said before so a few times now and to have your life be much more cohesive, be fulfilled and feel more alive in what you're doing so you can actually enjoy the journey you're on. I said this a few times before about how the masculine and feminine, the masculine is goal oriented, get the goal, get, get the result and be there. The feminine is about enjoying the journey and exploring, expanding along the way. For most women in business, they've been acting like the masculine. Goal driven, get to the end result, done. Missing all of the experience and all of the majesty of the process they're going through. When you're in the feminine ladies, you can enjoy both that exploration and it's smelling of the roses, so to speak, on the journey and the success of the end, end result. I'm going to put the link in the comments, as I said, for the self-love practice. And also what I'm putting in there is a consult, different from my usual chat. The chat I put out there is for a relationship-centric conversation. The consult is about feminine leadership. And that's something I'm putting out more, or well, starting today, make more visible because it's time that we talked about this. It's time for a change. And it's time that we actually, ultimately, this is my master plan, revamp the business um, framework so that the feminine energy can be leadership that can be fully expressed and feel absolutely connected at the top. So if you want help with that, let's talk. With that, thank you for watching. I'm gonna summarize this pretty briefly. I'm actually, it's, uh, by the way, it's the first night of Hanukkah for those of you who celebrate. So if it is, is, that is for you, happy Hanukkah. Um, I can smell things cooking ready, so I'm gonna go help out with that. I would like to say that if you want help, I'm here to support you. This, oh, by the way, this is my Facebook Live, as I mentioned at the beginning. Also, once it goes onto YouTube later on, and there's my podcast, I'll give you the links for that. On Facebook, you can find the replays of my broadcast, including this one once I'm finished, on barryselby.author, and also onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to that. And you can watch all my replays um, under Messages for the Masculine. It also goes to my podcast, which is... Um, which is also called Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe to that and download as you wish. Um, if you have any questions, comments about this particular broadcast, please put them in the comments below if it's here on Facebook or on YouTube and I'll respond later on. And um, my, my invitation, my hint, my suggestion is to please take care of yourself, especially if you're at the top because there are so many people who want your support, not so much depending upon you, but they really would, rely upon, would like to rely upon you and to support yourself is how they can you can do that for them. So I hope this has been of help to you and I really wish you the best. Take care of yourselves, I'll see you again tomorrow. 5 p.m. Pacific time, as usual. Take care, bye.